we get along really well and it, and I have a blast. So, but I will say I'm constantly, I'm constantly entertained. There is no, there's not a moment that goes by that I don't enjoy. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of E-Junkies. Yes, it's me again. I know you're probably sick of seeing me, but June is one of the busiest periods for entertainment. So, you know, we are here with yet another interview. And this time it is with people who I'm very excited to see. So I don't know if you guys have heard of this show called Only Murders in the Building. Now, season one was big in the US, but for some weird reason, which I don't know why, it's kind of not translating outside of the US. So they are going to premiere season two um, today, actually. And I'm very excited that I got to speak with the cast of the show, Steve Martin, Martin Short, and of course, Selena Gomez, the queen of TikTok. I, I threw them some fun questions. I kind of asked them about, you know, how they came to and what kind of roles they will play in a crime and you know I'm just going to let the clip speak for itself so let's roll it amazing cast I love you guys so much like how did this magic happen because I understand the idea from Steve was initially three old men and now you have two old men and a, and a millennial so Thank how did you. Selena come in and what you know like Steve and Martin what do you feel was right about her that you could play off I think like everything there's an incredible amount of luck where you have a good idea and then it gets cast. I mean, Marty and I were first cast and 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 then Selena was brought in. It was just, it wasn't a, like one blast of thought. It was incremental. And there's a lot of talented people who've done this before and put it together, including John Hoffman, who was the head writer of the script. So, you know, we're, I, I think of it as very lucky, but also we made our own luck. Selena, I want to talk a little bit about what you bring to the cast, your energy. I mean, first of all, your TikToks, you're a queen. I love it so much. There is one video where you posted on set where you're kind of making a face while Steve and, and Martin talks about art. And I know it's a joke, but you know, that can, has kind of been hinted at in the show as well. So, you know, can you kind of tell me what is it really like in, in real life between you guys? Pretty funny. It's kind of similar, but there isn't necessarily a huge issue with the age gap. We we get along really well and it, and I have a blast. So, but I will say I'm constantly I'm constantly entertained. There is no there's not a moment that goes by that I don't enjoy and my favorite scenes to shoot are with Steve and Marty. This next question is for Steve and Martin. So you guys have been comedians for a while and you have witnessed how the scene has evolved through the years. And, you know, recently comedians, you know, are in the spotlight for jokes that have been construed by some as insensitive or not woke, you know. <laughs> so I would just like to hear, like, what's your take on that? How do you think comedy has changed? And, you know, do you think people can't take a joke? I think it's a pendulum that finds its center. And I think a couple of years ago was farther more extreme over here, and I think it's easing a little. I'm glad I'm not a young comedian now. Of course, you'd probably have an instinct how to, to guide yourself, but you know, jokes I made uh, 40 years ago, I wouldn't make today, you know, or even some films. Selena, I know you've mentioned in previous interviews that you want to do a little bit more comedy. Now that you're in the second season of Only Murders, which is amazing, by the way, um, how do you feel you're growing as, as a comedic actress? And, uh, you know, what notes have Steve and Martin given you? Um, well, I, I don't think I could be surrounded by um, any better, <laughs> you know? It comes yeah. to these two, they know. They just, I, I even remember, I don't know if you remember, Steve, but I had a conversation about humor and um, and we were just discussing smart humor versus crass humor and I just feel like I take these little tidbits that they do or say and um, I appreciate it very much because no, they are... I don't remember what I said or what you asked, but you know, there's almost no answer to any of this. It's just yeah, well, works, yeah. you know, and you feel it at the time. Last question for the road. It's a fun one. So. Only Murders is a kind of a dramedy about crime and everything. So if you guys were committing a crime, what roles would you play? Because, you know, there is the mastermind, there is like a getaway driver, there's like the guy who takes the fall. What roles do you think you guys would have? I'd be getaway driver. <laughs> <coughs> I have a feeling that Selena would be the mastermind and I would be the, the schlump who walks into the bank and has to give the note. <laughs> oh dear, so kind of like the guy who takes the fall in a way. Yeah, yeah. And, and I have to trust Marty to be the getaway. 
<laughs> okay, thank you so much, guys. That's a wrap. For- I hope you guys enjoyed that, right? And you know, to me, it was a dream come true because I'm kind of watching three icons from across the screen. And my mind was a blank going in, to be honest. Um, and I also realized that in my excitement to share all of that good stuff with you, I have not introduced what the show is about. So let me just talk about Only Murders in the Building. It is a show obviously starring Steve Martin, Martin Short, and Selena Gomez. And I don't know if you know Steve and Martin, but they are comedic legends. And then you have Selena Gomez, who is a queen. And when you put them together, they have really, really good chemistry on the show, which is one reason why you should watch it. People are getting us caught. The police would be banging down that door. Why am I holding this knife? But above all, this show is a a crime dramedy. It's actually more comedy than drama to be honest and it's about these three people bonding over their love for true crime podcasts and deciding to solve only murders in the building. Cha-ching! Roll credits because we have that in the title. But um, season 2, when we start season 2, um, we see that Mabel, who is played by Selena Gomez, is the prime suspect for a new murder that occurred in the building. So season 2 is about them trying to solve that and clearing all of the names at once. And I know it sounds a bit convoluted, but that's why you have to catch the show from season one. Go watch it. Um, the, the first season's out on Disney+. Plus. The second season premieres today with two episodes, and I think they're going to release new episodes weekly, so just keep an eye out for that. We're getting the hang of it. Absolutely. You can tell us our second season. So if you enjoyed this episode of E-Junkies, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future episodes from us. I'll see you around next time. Bye-bye.